At Chicago Midway, the last Baltimore flight is about to depart, and Tim Bouchard can't find his ticket. What flight are you getting on? I'm trying right to now. get on this 815 flight. Okay. She told me Who I, never was, handed I was on you a anything standby back. flight. I went over to her. She called my name on the standby. I went there. I gave her the uh, ticket for a standby. And she said she gave it back to me and told me I needed to be okay, screened. Who's, who's but... she? Pinky? Yes. OK. She didn't give me did anything. You see, did you see the? I saw the actual paper ticket. Did he go through the screening at checkpoint? No, we were waiting on security. And I knew that she asked for 109, so I knew it was him. So okay. I looked around for the young so guy. So security coming, coming down? Way. Yeah, security is coming. Mar uh, Margarita says she's calling him again. Okay. Have you been walking around just in no. this gate area? Right here and right here. That's it. They called my name on the PTA. And it? I was on standby, and they told me I was on the flight. And I came over, I gave her my license, she checked me in, she took my ticket. Hi, Sue. Hi, it's Colleen in Chicago. Hang on. I have to get additional screen. This is not, this is nutty. I don't understand this. Back at Chicago Midway, Tim's flight is about to leave without him. The hunt is on for the missing ticket. We are looking for a security document that possibly was stamped through TSA for his additional screening. He's claiming he was screened, but unfortunately, we don't have, have his, his boarding didn't document. have one of these on there. It wasn't screened. Tell her we have one more that's been screened. Tim, are you going through all your stuff? He's a full fare ticket. And he was a standby? Yeah. What, which I know, I mean, I saw the ticket and I stamped it in. That's how I knew that everything was on. Is it in your last? Were you doing another flight at the time, Pink? Yeah, you know, I just think this kid, this kid, he probably just, dropped it. See the one that's dropped just for me. Yeah, he is. Where's the garbage bag? Where'd the cleaning lady go with the garbage bag? Honey, you're the one who dropped your food over here. Did you leave your boarding? I, walked, I, I okay. came down, I dropped some fries. I picked up the fries and I threw them right here. What'd you the do with the garbage bag? I just told her not to take it. I just told her not to take All the garbage. All it was French fries. Attention in the airport, Southwest Airlines is paging one source cleaner, return to Bravo 8. One source cleaner, return to Bravo 8. Please bring your garbage bag back. Back at Chicago Midway, Tim might have lost his ticket, but Colleen's starting to lose her patience. Tim, you need to come over here. I need to talk to you if you want to get on this flight. Yeah. I'm helping you out. Yeah. OK, you're not helping me because you lost your ticket. And you need a ticket to get on this aircraft, OK? So you need to I pay attention that. to what I'm saying, because I know you keep saying she lost right, it, she well, didn't you're, lose you're it. Saying you're saying, first off, you're putting the blame on me right yeah. off of the get-go. Tim, I don't need to let you go on this aircraft. I'm telling I, you, I you, lo that. you lost I, your ticket. Okay. You're you... telling me that I lost my ticket. Okay. Okay. I'll, I'll go with that as long as I can get on this flight. <laughs> okay. With only minutes to go before takeoff, okay. Colleen decides to get Tim cleared by security and allows him to travel. Nick, um, Pinky, pull a boarding card. Please. Sorry. Keep going. Hold on. That's all the luggage you got? Yep. Thank you. Okay, they're waiting for you. Juanita, wait. Juanita, wait. Wait. The flight's about to depart, but not without a final word from Colleen. Hi, sorry. Okay. Where's Mr. Bouchard? Where'd he go? He's sick. Mr. Bouchard, I just want to let you know your ticket was laying on the floor in the hallway. Oh. We were able to find it. Thank you. Hey. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Turns out Mr. Burchard had actually lost his ticket in the concourse like we told him. He just didn't want to listen to us. And I don't think he understood how much we were trying to help him. He didn't want to listen. So the TSA screener was walking away and found his ticket laying on the floor in the hallway like we tried to tell him. So anyway. Over at check-in, the Kaiser family is returning to Salt Lake City from vacation. They have lost their tickets and are told they'll have to buy new ones. We have no credit cards. I think we might have $20 left. I don't know what we're going to do. Probably going to be around $100 each person. Oh, my God. Did they give you a... I don't even want to tell you, Kevin. Can you get me an anxiety pill, please? Get me my purse. 
At the end of their financial rope, the stress proves too much for Andrea. how much I can't come up with it. With the tickets nowhere to be found, Kevin's last resort is to call the bus company that took them to the airport. The bus is coming back, and they will check the bus. We're supposed to call back at 8. If he'll tell me if they found him or not on the bus. It's going to be a tense wait for the family, but for Andrea, she needs time on her own. I want to cry for a while. I'll be back. Back in L.A., there's good news for the Kaiser family. What's the bus happening? He found him on the bus, and they're bringing him. He'll be here at quarter to nine. Our flight's supposed to leave at quarter to nine, so I'm going to find out what they'll do, if they'll hold the plane for it or what. Okay, well, if he doesn't make it, then worst case scenario, you get a hotel that's, like, right down the street, it's like a mile away. Okay. All right. Okay. Thank you. All right. Wait, no. We can't stay in a hotel. I mean, with nothing. I feel bad, but I, you know, we didn't lose their tickets. They, they're responsible for their own tickets, fortunately. So. Back in LA, the Kaiser's tickets have arrived. Thank you very much. But the last flight to Salt Lake has left. Los Angeles and put them on the next plane in the morning. There's just so much. I just, I'm going to make that reservation for you guys and fix it for tomorrow. How much is it going to cost? I think, I think they said the lowest rate is $45. And are we going to sleep with cockroaches? Southwest is not put you in cockroaches, darling. Yeah, we're gonna we'll, we'll, we're gonna put you up in a in a nice hotel. Okay. We're supposed to go to the hotel, call your dad from the hotel, and he will put it on his card at the hotel. At last, the Kaiser's luck has changed, and they head to the hotel. They'll be going home tomorrow. Hopefully, we can try to rekindle a little of what we lost. Back at Midway, Naval Cadet Melissa Weeks has a problem. Her dad, Brian. We came up to the counter and he started looking for our tickets and they were gone. Southwest Airlines does not replace lost or stolen tickets, so if you are required to repurchase the tickets if you lose them. But without your paper tickets, we do need you to purchase a ticket to get on the flight. Are you going to bunny I don't know. I'm between a rock and a hard place here. You're claiming that the tickets are lost at this point, and at some point in your possession, you can find the tickets. You can mail them into us, and they'll refund it. We'll give you a receipt Man, from the you know tickets. Good, well, I'm not going to locate them. You're just trying to look. That's all right. No, that's a, I'm just explaining to you. Well, our, please, I got to go, ma'am. I'm not. She's issuing all the tickets. I was. She really don't care. No, we we do care. We do ask you to re, you know to repurchase tickets. Man, you're they not listening to me, are you? Am I happy with Southwest? No, I'm not happy with Southwest. Southwest is not the low-priced airline they claim to be. Because, because. They're telling me basically to walk. Dad, go get my stuff. What are you crazy? Dad better make up his mind fast. Their flight leaves in 20 minutes. I got a plane to catch. Okay, there is no exception. If you want to get on that flight to Louisville, you will be repurchasing tickets. There's not any policy. Back in Chicago, much to Melissa's relief, Brian agrees to purchase a ticket. I'm sorry. Sorry, I didn't get it. I, I apologize. I hope you find your tickets. He may have spent $162 more than he wanted, but at least Brian's mood is recovered. <laughs> she came right on up to me. <laughs> daddy, daddy, daddy. I said, princess, princess, princess. Dad, stop embarrassing me. He talks too much. He just doesn't know when to shut up. Yes, it's kind of stupid to lose some tickets. I'll go along with that. But I felt that like I was treated like a, a subhuman. 
like I didn't exist. I know how to treat people, and, and you know, again, the customer may not always be right. Correct. However, the customer is always the customer. Stuff happens, and I get to go home, so that's all that matters. I get to be with my family. The daughter was very sweet. I mean, she's just apologizing, and you know, she. I think she was trying to get her dad to be quiet for a little while. Does it ever stop with Southwest? They just want to keep agitating me. Want to keep agitating me. For Oakland passenger Paul Johnson, there's a problem with his ticket. He's lost it. That ticket then was stapled onto the back of your boarding card. Okay. We need that ticket. Explain. You know who I am. You know I bought the ticket. And so I what is the issue? Thing. If you lose your paper ticket, you yeah. have to repurchase a paper ticket. So you're saying I'm being I'm being penalized because instead of picking up a phone, I walked up to the counter. You're not being penalized. You lost I'm your ticket, and I'm trying to help you. These are the ways. But, but I if I have to buy a new ticket, I'm clearly being penalized. Do you want to go back over and find it? I mean, you've just come up I have looked everywhere. I, all I did was yeah, I went. I went to every place that I've been, and did they don't have it. The... My name has been called. The flight is going to leave. This isn't appropriate for me to be without okay. the possibility of getting on this flight. Right now, they could hand me a boarding pass and put me on that flight. It's just that simple. Take a good customer and keep him happy, or take a good customer and make him irate. In L.A., passenger Paul Johnson still can't find his lost ticket. Unless you want to purchase another ticket in this moment, you won't make this one. Whether I have something wrong, done something wrong what myself, I'm to you or I'm an innocent victim, it ticket, doesn't matter. Ticket. I'm trying to help you. You bought the ticket, you lost the ticket, now I'm trying to help you. You can put so me on this plane, I'm that would be help. Anything short of that is not helping okay. So I'm sorry I can't help you. This is the last time I'm going to fly Southwest. I've spent thousands and thousands of dollars with this airline, and I intended to continue, but this is not acceptable service. I'm sorry. You can, you can override whatever policy you have and put me on this okay. flight. You can do that, and you're not doing that, because I've always had flexibility and excellent service from that. That's the exact opposite of what's happening here today. It's a slap in the face for them to acknowledge that I am who I am. I paid for a ticket 20 minutes ago, and they're, not, and they're going to make me buy another one. 20 minutes after the fact, that's an insult. In the end, Paul buys another ticket and flies out of LA one very unhappy camper. This was supposed to be a really slow day. What happened here? Over at gate B13, Kimberly Johnson is missing something for her flight to Detroit, her ticket. Yeah, she, yeah. Did you lose a ticket? Is that what happened? I kept everything in here. Together. Morrow has stepped in to help. Down. When she was checking me, she set it down. That's the only way, reason. At security? Yeah, she set it down because I had it Did in my hand. Did you backtrack? Did you go back to security and ask them to see if they got it? Hi there. I haven't been back there yet because I thought I had everything right here. Go back to security, see if they have it, and, uh, and make your way back. Okay. Kimberly's going to have to move fast if she's going to make her flight. Yeah, she ain't walking fast enough. Her flight leaves at, at uh, 8 o'clock, and going through security, she lost her ticket. So now she has to go back to try and backtrack to see if, if it's left at security. If it's not, then it's lost. And uh, with the lost ticket, it's just it's a, lost, it's a lost ticket. You have to purchase another one. Back at Midway, Kimberly is trying to make her flight to Detroit. Come back. She's been all the way to security, but has she found her ticket? As long as you got it. Hey, D! Right. Where is it? Where's your ticket? No, she doesn't have it. Your ticket, ticket. You got it stamped, oh, that's fine, but you needed your ticket. Here, hold on to this. Now what? This is your, well, there's an 835 flight. We yeah. have, well, now that we missed this one, we, get, we need to find out where that ticket is. You know what's weird is that she said that she left it at security, but if she left the ticket at security, there's no, there's no staple holes on this or the other one. Wait a minute. You said that you reprinted this for her? This is the reprint that I gave her. This is a reprint. So the original... So you gave her this, so the original is lost. It looks like Kimberly may have to pay to get on the later flight. Can you do me a favor? Can you go ahead and go back to security? Try and find the same person that wanted you and that, that checked you and asked to speak to their supervisor, and maybe they might have it locked up or off to the side. All right? Oh, she's pretty upset. She has a reason to be. It's uh, 8.10 right now, and the next flight leaves at 8.35. In Chicago, time is running out, and Morrow needs to work fast. Yeah. Can somebody do me a favor and let me know if uh, flight 9, 18.23 to Detroit is already boarding? Or... 18.20 is boarding right now, Morrow. Shoot. 
I gotta try to help her out. Yeah. What happened? She said I won't take you have her ticket? Stand. No. Is that Who screened her? Best? Yeah. She went to the selecting light. Like, right. Her. And she states that somebody, while she was being wanded, somebody went ahead and took the ticket, put it off to the side while she was being wanded. We have no, nothing on our checkpoint anywhere. Nothing was turned into us. Nothing was extra was left over on our lane at all. No boarding passes anywhere. Ms. Johnson, when you came through security, you know you did you have this? Are you for sure that you had? I am not a frequent flyer, okay? Okay. I catch the bus or the damn train, and I should All right, get I'm that. just trying to. What? I got now. You talking over there? I might have to pay again because they, my ticket is then, then ran up out of my envelope, and now I have to uh, pay again. Right. Well, that's what I'm trying to explain to you is that we're trying not to have you pay again. Okay. But I don't know what happened to it. I got lost. everything in there that I had when she gave it to me downstairs, all the way around there when I first walked up in this. Up in here. Yeah, Gloria, no. you didn't see anything being nope, left off to the side or anything that when she left? We have more than to double check again. Could you please, because we got a flight that her flight is already boarding and it leaves in like at 835. If we can't find the ticket, we're going to have to try and see if you can purchase another one before this flight leaves, because okay, this is the I last flight out tonight. Because I don't have the money to purchase another ticket. OK. It's, it's the last flight. It's the last flight out today. Back at Midway, Morrow and Kimberly aren't seeing eye to eye. She refuses to pay for a new ticket. Where'd you get that? Okay, what happened? All right, so somebody turned it in. Somebody Thank turned it in. God. Thanks, Brian. I'll That's get back good. to you later. Thank God. Appreciate Thank it. You. Now, they've only got a few minutes to make it to the gate, and it's at the other end of the terminal. All right, pretty lucky, huh? Is it all right if I run up ahead of you and yeah, let them know you're coming? Please. Can please I hold do. on to this? Yes, you want to take this too, okay? Some of us. No, 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 you hold on to that. Okay. Just walk fast. Oh, God. Oh. How you doing? Better? Good? Oh, still, I haven't got on there yet. Here we go. This is your gate. Yeah. I just want to make sure she gets on. Thank you. There you go. Thanks. Have a good night. Thanks. You're okay in it. Oh, my I'm glad she's on her flight. It's, you know, knowing that it was the last flight, I'm glad that TSA cooperated, that she actually showed she was trying to make an effort to find it. I like that. Get a little jog and exercise in it, too. It was nice. Oh, believe it. 